one knows anything. Resident yeah, because Evil no Village plays VR, VR has to be that. Congratulations to Capcom. Sorry. Now your nominees for best mobile game. Final Fantasy VII, Ever Crisis. Honkai Star Rail. Hello Kitty Island Adventure. <laughs> Monster Hunter Now. And Terra Nell. He laughed and the game because award goes he knew to that was the dumbest fucking game. Honkai Star Rail. That's like the fakest fucking game Universe. ever. For like All a right, we have 10 much years ago. more game awards to come, including the first ever performance by the old gods of Asgard from Alan Wake 2, <laughs> and some of our biggest game announcements are still to come. But right now, we'd like you to meet one of tonight's nominees for best debut indie game, who is also part of the newly inducted Future Class, presented by Old Spice. I can't tell if he's laughing. My name is Abhi. In India, when I grew up, I had a very early interest in games. When I got to Canada at the age of 12, it was a whole new world for me. For many South Asian families, food is not just a thing to cook, but also a way of expressing affection and all the things that they cannot say. Benba is a narrative cooking game that tells the story of an Indian mother who moves to Canada in the late 1980s. It's a story about love, loss, and family. The more local you are, the more international you become. Everybody who's played the game is able to put something from their lives into it in ways that I wouldn't have expected. That was cute. Yeah, you're doing that in the subway, you're getting robbed. What? You do that in the fucking coffee store, everyone's looking at you when you put that thing down. What? Dude, where's the awareness here? Nah, the coffee shop's fine. We want you. Are you meant for better things? I can save someone with this. <gasps> Lonely? Lost? Poor? Confused? Oh, oh God! Oh, the Lord! I won't let you hurt the children! Wait, wait! Grind the, wait, do we have to grind the children? What up, man? Welcome in. I love this guy, that okay, guy's cool. sit down, very comfy. But the miracles of science give you purpose. Sometimes the finger of God reaches down and touches you. Yeah, instant. Men and women of any race, religion, class, or political persuasion. <laughs> Centers before the Premiere are you kidding me? Industry's greatest creators. Oh my god. He's been a huge supporter of the Game Awards since the very beginning back in 2014. And tonight, I am so, so honored to share this latest update with you on his upcoming project. Here we go. Yo, what up, Bobby? Oh shit! The hungry purple dinosaur meets the kind zingy fox, the jabbering crab, and the mad whale, and has started bending and quacking. The hungry purple dinosaur ate the kind zingy fox, the jabbering crab, and the mad whale, and started bending and quacking. The hungry. Purple dinosaurs ate the kind zingy fox, the jabbering crab, and the mad whale, and started bending and quacking.
Let them cook, yeah. No, it's not PT. Please welcome the visionary game developer behind OD, Mr. Hideo Kojima! Welcome, Mr. Kojima, back to the Game Awards. Uh, thank you, Jeff. えっと、10回目となる記念すべきこのTGAで、え、ま、新作のゲーム uh, main role Sophia Lillis, uh, Hunter Schaefer, and Udo Kier. Yeah. Uh, I think we all want to know more, of course. What kind of game are you making, Mr. Kojima? あの、ま、僕はその誰もがやったこともないような、え、尖ったゲームっていうのを今作ってます。で、あの、ま、今までないものなんで、え、言葉で説明はしにくいんですけども、あの、ま、今までないものなんで、え、言葉で説明はしにくいんですけども、ある種映画でもあって、さらに、え、
一緒にものを作り出しました。Well, Jordan is one of those genius, and I've been a big fan of him. And when I met him, I felt like we were friends from the past. We get on very well. We like things that we both like, and we're really happy. And we wanted to collaborate something. And and this time. Um, well, Jordan, I, I grew up watching movies, and I'm a game creator now. Jordan grew up playing games, and he's a movie director now. So this two collaboration will be really awesome. So that's why that's I sick, wanted to do man. something together with Jordan. I feel like I, I actually feel now, this. Though. I get it. You know, <laughs> makes it, it's perfect. Yes. Yeah, Kojima Shu right there. Ah, ma, this project is Jordan, but it's not just ma, a lot of creative support or ah, ma, ah, people and ah, ma, 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 So uh, what I could say right now is that I'm kind of um, um, it's not just Jordan. I have other uh, creative collaborative partners uh, with me on board on this project. I can't really uh, say who they are right now, but they I tell you they are the legends and they're going to be amazing. And uh, I actually call them the Avengers. The door is closed for now, so no more special guests, but it's going to be amazing. Wanna, I, I just want to stress that what this man is building here is unlike any other game. It is going to be crazy. That's, that's it. We cannot wait to learn more. Hideo Kojima, Jordan Peele, thank you so much, guys. I'm All excited right. for that. It's cool time for another them. game announcement. This one, cool 65 spot. million years in the making. I own an island off the coast of Costa Rica. Really spectacular, spared no expense. For this place, I wanted to show them something that wasn't an illusion. Something that was real. Can anyone hear me? Let the franchise die. This is Dr. Maya Joshi. I've been left behind on like Isla Nublar. <laughs> Wait, it looks pretty cool, though. <laughs> she does look like Mia Khalifa. Because she looks like a person that has to be there? immediately sex. You guys are weird for that too. That is weird for you to be like, weirded out by that. What? She's a person. What the fuck? I said she looks like Mia Khalifa. He chat said it. Someone chat said Mia. And I saw it too. If no one said Mia, I wouldn't be the weird guy. I'd be like, yo guys, does she look like... No, because someone said it. I, I can give you a reason. Wait, what am I saying wrong? The name? What am I doing wrong here? Please welcome Grammy Award-winning producer, Zed. <laughs> Dude, you, know, you guys remember Curry Shot Hello from League? Hello, everybody. I'm In honored Overwatch? to be here tonight to present like the award friend. for Best Audio Design. Sound is an often overlooked but crucial aspect of game development. It's what brings games to life, creating the immersive worlds we love to explore. It's the eerie noises deep in the forest, the echoes inside an abandoned spacecraft, or the satisfying sound of shooting a web. This year, we've seen some incredible examples of audio design in games 
as talented sound designers have pushed the boundaries of what's possible. Here are the nominees. Best audio design. Is it my audio or? I buy Rush and win this. Baldur's Gate 3. And the game award goes to Hi-Fi Rush. I didn't play the game, but Weston told me it was good, so I'm happy. Thank you so much. Yeah, what is that tie? That tie he's wearing is a designer Prada as tie. It's so dumb. Thank you so much. 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 Thank you so just a quick translation. Thank you for this amazing award. It's so glad that the work that the team has done together has, to achieve has been recognized here. Thank you to everyone who supported this project. And for myself, thank you to our family, friends, partners, right, pets. Ty. Um, thank you everyone to Bethesda, ZeniMax, this Microsoft, okay. and the, I mean, all I don't the players out there. Uh, cooler ties, um, normal ties cooler. Going with this ridiculous project. And most of all, to the team at Tango for taking such a wild idea and Dude, making it a reality. Guys, what do you think about his tie, though? Like, oh, no, I'm kidding. All right, let's turn to the world of Fortnite. If you haven't already, tie, check no. out the Game Awards Island in Fortnite. It's been updated with new trophies tonight to collect. Fortnite is expanding into a full-on platform with tons of new experiences beyond Battle Royale. Earlier today, LEGO Fortnite launched, and on Saturday, the music game Fortnite Festival. Tomorrow, though, <laughs> The team at Sionics really behind events. Rocket League delivers rocket racing. Here's your first look. Oh, wait, we get to see. We asked about this earlier, Chad. They should make a battle royale in Fortnite. And they're like a save. Nah, it's not even a funny joke. I was gonna say. I'm hungry, bro. I, re I barely ate my food earlier. I have not been eating, guys. Wow, depression. Their minds yearn to ascend. Is this still Fortnite? Yet fame still holds sway. Their glory fades through time in tombs of somber gray. You too want to be an immortal? Master, are there more good folks in the world or bad? More good, of course. Then why is there always suffering? And why do the bad folks always win? Because goodness without teeth punishes not. It only foments evil. Cleanse the world with blood and grow lotuses in it. That Has this game been out? Is 
The new West. Welcome, the destined one. The destined the one who doesn't even know what he's destined for. Those old rascals, they surely know how to name. Tell me, is my kind destined for extermination? You're driven by glory, not destiny. So this is the face of the destined one. It will fit me just as well. Bathed in blood, yet preaching peace. Oh, you immortals, pray enlighten me. What justifies your superiority? Sick at the same time, yeah. It's so freaking cringe, but that's so cool, yeah. Yeah. Batman, so weird. But Green so Lantern, sick. The Flash, Superman. I'm kidding, chat. It's not cringe. Some guy in the chat said cringe, but protect. sick, and I thought that was funny. <laughs> I'm joking. My Justice League will burn this earth down for me. <laughs> Flash, how do I stop this? You have to kill us, Diana. We have to die to save the world. So cringe, but yeah, I'll play it. Like, yeah, I actually love this so much. I love these characters, but so cringe. I don't want You think you're a team now? Ignore me, but I love it. You think you can stop us? Thought you'd never ask. No, that was a bad remix. He's the fastest man alive! According to all these girlfriends. I love Feeling glad I got sunshine. In a bag, I'm useless. Moving up along the future. It's coming on. So, what's the plan? Time for us bad guys to save the world. Yeah, I do fucking hate word song Alpha choices. Suicide Squad, and joining me now are Rebecca and Megan from Digital Extremes up in Canada to talk about all things Warframe. Uh, we've got a special Warframe Twitch drop tonight for those of you watching on Twitch. But I understand you've also got some other news for Warframe fans on the next expansion, right? Yeah, we do. You know, it's been 10 years for Warframe, so, you know, 10 years for you. We assumed we'd get a senior's discount of some time, just because our game is probably the oldest game here, maybe. But, yeah, we Keeps have... going strong. I know, it's because our community is so awesome, and we are going to be showing you the release date for our next major update for Warframe. So we do have a trailer for, you know, Warframe players around the world to watch, which is quite exciting. Yeah, I mean, it's been an incredible ride, 10 years of just our incredible developers, our community just supporting us along the way. So if you're a Warframe fan and watching, we love you and thank you so much. And I hope you enjoy the next update, Whispers in the Walls. Oh yeah, thanks for having us back too. Devs at home, we love you guys. All right, thanks guys, let's take a look. For generations you've slept. No purpose, no call to wake you, but now, you have changed everything. The lidless eye has seen you. The Tano.
very confused what I'm seeing, but if I was paid, maybe I'd understand. So much more Game Awards ahead. You thought the surprises I... were done? Nope, there's lots coming. But while you're here, head to SuperGameAwards.com through December 31st for a chance to win a trip for four to the brand new Super Nintendo World at Universal Studios Hollywood. Here's a look. Ready for a new way to play? Experience the immersive world of Super Mario. Brought to life like never before. I want to go to this place, but I just feel like it's going to be so crowded. <laughs> Super Nintendo World. Now open at Universal Studios Hollywood. And all it takes is one annoying ass kid to ruin my day. Not really. I like two. Starfield came and gone. I'll be honest. It just, if you like Fallout, if you like Bethesda games a lot, then I guess you'd like it, right? It's just not a good game for anyone to get into it, in my opinion. It's like, no, you gotta get into the... the Life no, to whatever. the living, death to the dead. We have sworn to protect the living from the lingering dead. Keep the incarnate and the invisible separate to bring peace on Adam's souls. Once their grip on this world is broken. Well. Life to the living. Death to the dead. Life to, to the living. Death, Death to, the to the dead. dead. Life to the living. Death to the dead. Honoring my oath, or sacrificing the living to bring me back. I'm not sure I can do this. Honor your oath, or bring me back. But don't leave me like this. What was that game? Was it the first time we've seen that game ever? Hold on, hold on. Was it the first time we've seen that game? And they just advertised the collection? Oh. No? Okay, okay. Suspect down! Right is down! What is this? Ready or not, it's ready or not. Look out! Ready? Officer is down and we need backup. Let's go! Get back! We can still make it out of this. Drop the gun and let her go. I'm not going in! So, are you ready? Guess who has a sponsor for this game this week, baby? W's game, hey, W game. W game, I fucking love this game anyways. I mean, I don't. I mean, I... I do. I, 
Age of Empires, oh, Call of Duty, the Warzone body. Mobile, oh, no. Little Nightmares, that. and Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six are just some of the big titles coming to mobile in 2024. Head to the Game Awards on Twitch to vote for which title you want to win Google Play's own Play More Award. Now, please welcome last year's winner of Games for Impact for the game As Dusk Falls, which is coming to PlayStation on March 7th and is available for pre-order tonight. Creative Director, Caroline Marshall. Bonsoir, everyone. Winning last year was definitely a highlight mm. of my 22 years in the industry. That mic looks like balls. Games for Impact is one of the most important <laughs> that categories mic looks at like Game a pair of balls. The games nominated this year offer unique and nuanced perspectives on topics that concern us all, from the climate crisis to cultural diversity. They broaden our horizons, foster empathy, and connect us as humans. Yeah, we're a silver In a world monkey's torn apart butt. by divisions and intolerance, <laughs> this is one of the most essential powers of our medium. Here are the outstanding nominees. Games for Impact. Somebody did type silver bag. I got it instantly. Legend it's says a traveler will reunite the people. I autofill. What's the theme? Using this year to um, make an impact. Game Award goes to... Chia! The most evil music coming out of <laughs> Thank you. I accept this award on behalf of uh, Developer Ourselves, who cannot be here, but I got a message from Phil Crifo co-founder of Who, who is even there? I'd like to thank our self family for your trust and unbelievable talent, Kepler and Sony for believing in this crazy project, and the entire population of New Caledonia who championed and embraced cheer all along. Thank you, Mercy Oleti. <laughs> Hello, uh, I'm Abu Bakr Salim. I'm mainly known for my acting work in Raised by Wolves and Assassin's Creed Origins. But, 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 that is not why I'm here. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry, no, this is, this is crazy, man. <laughs> I mean, I, I remember watching the Game Awards when I was younger, so being up here now is like, <laughs> He's pissed. Look, I've, I've loved games all my life. Uh, I mean, I played them all my life, man, from Kingdom Hearts, Gary's Mod. Hey! Golden Sun. Gary's Mod. And it, it, it started with my dad, right? He got me into them. He understood, you know, that games are an art form. You know, it's a great space to enjoy and escape from the reality of the world. And he passed away a while back, and I'll tell you what, I'm still figuring it out. But four years ago, I decided that I needed to try and process my grief in a way that felt true to me and him. So I took the biggest risks of my life and threw everything that I had in making a game, a, a piece of art that honored him, an ode to the people we have loved and lost. <sighs> so... So the reason I'm here tonight is because with the love and support of a lot of people here, I'm gonna take another big risk and I'm gonna show you what we've been building. You know, I'm gonna offer you this game, a game from my old man. I hope you like it. Every story begins at the end of another. Each story carries with it the echoes of those that came before. 
my Baba, my father, your story was snatched away too soon. My name is Zhao, a shaman of Kenzera. Here, I seek my father's return. Game shit, next. <laughs> That does look sick. Hear my plea, Kalunga, God of Death, come to me! Show me you are ready. Fucking sick. It's been twenty seven years, y'all. Why now? Because we made a promise. That was Lost Records, a brand new world from the development team behind Life is Strange. Now we have a world premiere, a new look at a game based on an ongoing franchise of 18 years with over 850 million users worldwide. You, this entirely in-engine trailer shows off the blend between cartoon 3D graphics with hardcore action. This is the first Berserker. Not y'all, I mean, like, just fucking, just fucking mod it. Just fucking mod it. <laughs> Finally, I found you. Trampled by the one you trusted. A bad from your king. You thought you were a hero. <laughs> now, you are just one of us. Our style is kinda cool. I'm actually fucking with that. I'm fucking with how it looks so far. This is an ordinary ghost. You have to risk your life. A little weeby, but I like the pop out the colors. That move looks sick. That actually looked really cool, the eye thing. That looks cool. Looks good, right? All right, now it's time for our first performance by the Game Awards Orchestra. This one, though, yeah, is a little food. bit of a twist. They're about to play music from an upcoming game that no one has heard yet. You might call it one of those world premieres, and this is a special one. It's written by one of the greatest video game composers of all time, the oh. legendary Nobuo Utamatsu. <gasps> Here is the Game Awards Orchestra led by Lauren Balfe with lead vocals from Lauren Allred debuting the theme song from Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. Enjoy. Wait. Yeah, 
I thought it was a new IP. What should I eat? I'm like not hungry. I'm like hangry. You said Panda? Bro, I did not have Panda Express. I did not eat earlier. enough food to last enough energy for seven hours would you say chat to feel hungry again my hunger is fine and i didn't even eat before stream i should be hungry right no I might just quit eating, yeah. What an absolutely beautiful song from Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, which is nominated for most anticipated game tonight. Thank you to Lauren Allred and Maestro Lauren Balfe and the Game Awards Orchestra. They will be back later to pay tribute to our Game of the Year nominees. But that's not all we have tonight for Final Fantasy fans. What we've done, that's set no! in stone. Or so they'll tell you, Deity. Because the future has the power to change anything. Even the past. Battle Royale. Strap in, Newtie. Things are about to get mighty interesting. What? Uh what? <laughs> hey, what? what? <laughs> was a That's a very Royale. fun when limits are it made to be broken when Royale. Final Fantasy VII Rebirth comes to Apex Legends on January 9th. And that key art you just saw was drawn by Nomura-san himself. Thank you so much for that incredible announcement. Now it's time to announce the winners of a few more awards as selected by the fans and our voting jury. In the category of Best Score and Music, the nominees are Alan Wake 2, Baldur's Gate 3, Balls. Final Fantasy 16, Hi-Fi Rush, and The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. And the Game Award goes Alan to... Alan Wake 2 wins... Final Fantasy 16. I'm a good player. So, Kitsun, congratulations. Here are the nominees for Best Independent Game. Cocoon, Dave the Diver, Dredge, Sea of Stars, and Viewfinder. And the Game Award goes to Sea of Stars. Congrats, Sabotage. Here are the nominees for Best Community Support. Baldur's Gate 3, Cyberpunk 2077, Destiny 2, Final Fantasy 14, and No Man's, no Sky. Man's Sky. And the Game Award goes to no. Baldur's Gate 3. Congratulations, Larian. All right. Nominees for Best Fighting Game. Destiny 2, Those are alone. God of Rock, Mortal Kombat 1. Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl 2, Pocket Bravery, and Street Fighter 6. Street Fighter 6. And the Game Award this year goes to Street Fighter 6. Congrats, Capcom. 
All right. Oh, Brad, Cap -cap. Most anticipated Ooh. game. Your nominees this year were Hades Final two, Fantasy baby. VII Rebirth, Hades, Hades two. 2, Like a Dragon, Infinite Wealth, Star Wars Outlaws, and Tekken 8. And the game award oh. this year goes <laughs> to oh. Final oh. Fantasy VII oh. Rebirth. Congratulations, Square and Nomura son. All right. Well, it's been eight Hades months since the release of Honkai Star Rail, a winner tonight for best it's rigged. mobile game. They, dude, this they space won fantasy money. RPG filled with myths and legends is set for Jeff more intergalactic expeditions in 2024. And tonight, we have an exclusive look at Penacane, the next destination. I'm telling you, this is the life we live in. None of that is real. Do you still remember it? Fables about the stars. It's actually jury choice? Okay, never mind. It's stories tell of what is That's and what real. was. Its pages will always reveal something new. <laughs> Those are unforgettable memories. But they are only a beginning. Weed pack! Honestly, weebs equal fucking smoke weed. Fucking smoke weed. Fucking smoke weed now. It won't all be merrymaking. Suffering and joy will both be added to the final draft of the story. Group weed now! That the trailblaze will continue. Perhaps on one of these pages, I'll appear in your story too. Welcome to Penacone, young lady. May I ask your name? Damn! Dagon, the Galaxy Ranger. Damn! Damn! A nominee tonight for best mobile game, Monster Hunter Now is the new mobile game from Niantic and Capcom. Like all of Niantic's games, Monster Hunter now is played in the real world, and tonight they have a special in-game event going on right now with new monsters, new weapons, and special free game items for new players to join the hunt. It's available now for iPhone and Android, so check it out, Monster Hunter Now. Coming up, we've got an exclusive new look at the new Fallout series. We'll be right back. <coughs> Shall I? Fallout. It's gonna be a mid fallout thing because the, the way he announced it was so like not like there's no way he would pre-announce a new fallout game. So it's gonna be fallout at, uh, online. <coughs> Wait, did he say TV show?
here at the Game Awards, and that was a new look at Skull and Bones from Ubisoft, which is coming out on February 16th. I'm happy to announce that players can register now for the upcoming closed beta from December 15th to 18th on all platforms. And now it's time for the announcement of the next game from the studio that won Best Game Direction in 2021. This is not death loop, right? Makers of death loop, they're not gonna put death loop. Death loop was the worst fucking game of all time. None of all time, but it was really bad. Relax, man. I don't bite. <sighs> Lock up tight now. Night's just getting started. Oh, shit. Uh, I doubt it's going to be good, though. There you go. Joining me now are Tinga Bacava from Arcane Leon and Bill Roseman from Marvel Bethesda, to tell us how did this come no, together, No, no, don't guys. chat. Bethesda well, is Jeff, a floppers. let me tell you, the secret superpower of Hopefully, Marvel games man. is our constant focus on bringing together world-class talent with the fan-favorite characters that they love. Now, we are huge it could fans be of because it's Blade, Leon, chat. not only no. because of the story-rich games they create with innovative gameplay, but because of their yet. authentic passion. And that's why, on Blade's 50th anniversary, we are so honored oh. to announce this true Marvel team-up. Yes, and uh, after Dishonored <laughs> and Deathloop, our first order of business was to make another very arcane game, but with a title that is easier to say in a French accent. And uh, when we had, you know, when Sebastian Miton and I had an opportunity to chat with Marvel, I said, okay, let's really challenge them. Let's present our wildest take on a superhero that we both love. And we ate it up. <laughs> I mean, the arcane touch fits Blade like his trademark trench coat. <laughs> and I mean, think about it. It's, it's a mature action adventure game, single player, where you get to play Blade your way. For true believers, it's a dream come true. Very excited to learn more. Uh, Dinga, why this character? Well, he's the daywalker. Uh, Eric Brooks is half man, half vampire, torn between the warm society of the living and the rushing power of the undead. And uh, as a kid of mixed origins, uh, his dual heritage resonated with me. So yes, it is a dream to be making a game about Blade in Paris, my hometown. You know, if... <laughs> Well, if, <laughs> if my hometown was walled in and we shared it with bloodthirsty invaders that come out as soon as the sun goes down, ça serait un petit peu la merde quand même. Anything else you can tell us about the game? I know it's pretty early, right? Uh, I can tell you one thing. Okay. Uh, the entire team at Arcane Lyon is, you know, pouring so much love into this immersive third person Action Third adventure person. set in the heart of Paris. Yeah. So okay. please sit back, let us cook, and voila! Merci beaucoup! <laughs> Merci! Wow! That, whoa! <laughs> Stunts too! Dig a bell, thank okay, you very much. Let them try guys. third person now. Because right, awesome. they've been doing Thanks, it first Dinger. person. Right. Uh, you now, know the, please the, welcome the star of Twisted Dishonored. Metal, a nominee tonight for Best Adaptation, okay, Anthony Mackey! It's going to be a new take for them, so I'm. I'm, I'm hold on! Third person, but this is big. Try that shit out. Thank you guys. Thank you. Everybody that gave up. Fire. You guys didn't. Hey, I just want to say a big thank you to everyone who watched Twisted Metal on Peacock. And hey, hey, yeah, yeah. I have one thing to do before I get on to the award I'm Does supposed to represent that? up here. Okay? Okay, all right, I know I say a lot of different things. You can't scream them all. 
Jeez. Apparently now, no one knows this yet. So you three guys I no and everybody is. else is going to be the first. Because of our incredible fans, Twisted Metal is coming back for season two on Peacock. So, so, everybody get your motor revving, because you're going on another ride with John Doe. You look great. You guys see this section right here? You guys look great. Keep it going, baby. I don't trust this dude, but y'all look great. Don't you yell at me. I love you more. I love you! <laughs> what is wrong with y'all? <laughs> Okay, stop it, you! Okay, love you too. I see you. I see you. Shut up. Okay, <laughs> today, <laughs> the best games are like living universes, constantly Turns out expanding he was with new just found content out now. and challenges, <laughs> right? And that's what this award for best ongoing game recognizes. The games that continue to deliver fresh experiences for their loyal communities. Sorry. Here are the nominees. Best ongoing game. The light always pierces through. Let me put it this way. No gun, no uh, you know, I'll put, I'll put sorry, Bob. Well, what's the award? What's the award? He was too busy talking to fucking somebody. Fortnite pop off, Let yes. The magic begin. Ongoing? Fortnite or Cyberpunk? I put both. I would give it to Cyberpunk this year. Okay. I get so many cool points with my sons for this moment. Um, all right. So. It's going to be Fortnite, but it should be. It's the be Game Cyberpunk. Award goes to. Shut up. Shut up. Dude. Cyberpunk 2077. Yeah, I had to. Obviously. It's pretty obvious. This is heavy, dude. This is heavy. <laughs> oh my goodness. What a journey. What, what a journey it's been. <laughs> Holy. Video games are awesome. This is an incredible moment. From launch to 1.5 to 2.0 in Phantom Liberty, and uh, now the Ultimate Edition. Like, the tenacity and the resilience of the team and just wanting to bring forward stories that impact worlds that are immersive, you know, the world being immersive and of course the gameplay just being fun, fun as hell. I, this is an exciting team. We accept this on behalf of hundreds of people who put their hearts and souls in it. The two of us here. Please, Sasuke, including this guy here, please <laughs> say something. And I mean, I, I have to include here our amazing players. They've been with us throughout the whole journey, gave us feedback, made funny memes, videos, you know, wrote posts on Twitter, on Reddit. It was amazing, you know, to see the reception of the players when they were actually getting all of those updates. Just recently, we you gotta get the update fuck out of here, man. For Cyberpunk guys, you got to get the and it's fuck for out all of you. Thank get you so much. Your fucking seat, Thank you. Man. Thank you. <laughs> Congratulations, guys. Our next guest has worked on some truly memorable games over the past 20 years, like GTA V, Bully, Need for Speed Underground, and the Red Dead Redemption series. Now he leads a new studio, Lightspeed LA. Steve C. Martin is here to unveil a brand new project. Steve? Who's the guy who just decided? Great to have you here. You no. showed, it, showed this to me earlier this year. This is way uh, too tell long. us a bit about it. It's an honor to be here, so thanks for having us. Over the past Sorry. few years at Lightspeed LA, myself, and a remarkable team of over 200 talented, diverse industry veterans and fresh new talent have been in deep development on a fully original, AAA, futuristic open world game. Tonight, we're really excited to offer you all a sneak peek at what we've been working on. I'm, I'm seriously, I'm so excited to share so much more with you in the future, but for now, I hope you all enjoy this first taste. Amazing. Let's take a look, Steve. Here we go. Tear it open.
now. It's going, go, going to be okay. The demon is here. It's the demon. It's the demon. <laughs> On Twitter now. Follow, follow. <laughs> cool. Last sentence. Thermal. this game and I was thinking there's no way it's this game because I played that game and it's not this game. There's no way. <laughs> that was the first Descendant which is launching no, the summer of 2024 from next Now Maybe we have, have a new sponsored. look at Hoyo versus next big game, Zenless Zone it. Zero, an urban fantasy ARPG. I didn't mind it. I had my eye on this one for a while. We had it at Gamescom and we're excited to unveil their latest announcement right here at TGA. Wait, this is a new game? Oh, I thought it was... Switching to phase two. One of the last two.
My horny ass can't play Gundam Wing. That's the, that's the Transformers text. That's literally the. I don't know. We brought in gamers to demo the latest Cyberpunk update, but we haven't told them what they're playing on. Let's see what happens when they find out. This looks amazing. Ray tracing is beautiful. Yeah, it's super real. <laughs> what do you think's powering your gaming? Like a 4090? 40, 40 series? You're actually playing on a Chromebook Plus. Wow. Streaming on GeForce Now. Oh. What the heck? Oh my god. I would never have guessed that. I might have to look into getting a new Chromebook. Supposed to show as dumb as the hell. tide of war. How do you not tell? If, those if, that was, if it was me, they'd be like, dude, the, the fuck's we the battle against the fuck is going on? I've been sitting to Eddie the whole time. By the day. <laughs> we need valiant well, dude, no, soldiers to wrong. take on these deadly robotic hordes and spread our message of peace and democracy. You guys know I would too. I love this game for two hours. Use the galaxy's Maybe most advanced weaponry. Fight alongside a squad worth dying for. Join the hell cool. Join the fight for freedom. Enlist today. PlayStation. What is your life? I don't know. My honor is my life. What is your craft? My craft is death. What is your pledge? My pledge is eternal service. Okay, now we have a special surprise for you, live and exclusively here at the Game Awards. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I am your host, Wallendor, and I present to you the old gods of Asgard featuring the best-selling writer, Alan Wake. This is Herald of Darkness. And sheltered with mama's pretty stories And you're all made up pure And mama gave me a magic clicker Well yes, I think it's true and fair to say Come on in and listen Lost words you be missing On the fire you're bearing The eye of the darkness you're lying. I play Alan Wake too, so I have no idea what's going on. Honestly, I thought it was a scary game. It is? Chat's so mad. I'm not mad. I'm not mad. 
I'm really pissed. Chilling thrillers of hard boiled killers became bestsellers. It was all too much, I had to get away. Thanks for hanging out with me today, guys. You know, some days I fear that I take such a long break that I'll wake up and stream and it's just like all gone. You know? Like sometimes I get like that. It's like, oh, maybe I was gone for too long. Where no, none of, no one will fuck with me anymore. Damn it. What if it, it could happen, right? That could happen. What if I just wake up too late? I'll never go away for more than what I did already. You guys feel me? Unless I like have a kid and shit in my life, then I might have to take a small break. You know what I'm saying? I'll figure that shit out when it comes. You trying to say something? No, I'm old. Isn't that the guy from the show? No wait, there we go, that was the other guy. Wait, isn't this the guy who got the award? He took Molly, he took one on the stage. He got so drunk and he's like, what's what's he doing? And he looks like yes, Ryan Sequist. That's what I thought it was. That's what I thought it was. Thought it was. Yes. Honestly, what the fuck oh, was that? Wow. Though? I, I have no idea what the hell. Was. Poets of the Fall performing in the role of old gods of Asgard. Thank you to the band, Sam Lake, Remedy, Epic, the cast, and everyone involved what is, what is to bring Alan that Lake performance about? to life. Something you will only <laughs> see right here on the Game Awards. What now it's time for an update on a game we announced back at TGA in 2017. We were the first to play this game. We all shared the same Me, Soda, story. The same we were the first fate. to play it. A family of strangers. A strange family. We have lived a thousand lives. We have died a thousand times. Yeah, the game isn't Ever bad. We it's just once you do it the first time, and it's like you realize it's the whole loop. We are now as right? one. Once you realize the loop. Until. You don't want to keep going. One final battle. It wasn't a bad game, right? My friends. This one's... Wait, uh, I don't want to go again. Remember. It's hard to make that a playable, a replayable. For me, at least. It was a good game, though, but... I don't know. Joining me now is Ulf from 10 Chambers. Crazy, that was six years ago we announced uh, GTFO, and that's the final chapter. You've got a free weekend on Steam. Looks fantastic, but I think there's a little something more you're also working on, right? Yeah, first of all, I have to say thank you for, thank you for having me again. Of course. And uh, you delicious man, you. <laughs> this suit is fucking amazing. <laughs> yeah. You look good, too, Ulf. Yeah, Your yeah, games yeah. look great. So. Anyway. Uh, yeah, we're working on something like, new, I and not uh, that it's at like all. a passion project, like was, like all our projects are. That was are. such an unexpected, like, you were going for payday, things like that, so you're back, yes. back to some heist stuff? I, I guess. Remember, it was, okay. yeah, it was yeah. fine. So now we're back to doing a heist game so again, unexpected. and it's sort of a, a, a sci-fi thing that I've been dreaming up since I was a kid, basically. Okay. And yeah, it's, you know, it should is what it, it is. to the world? Yes, we should. You've been working on this for a number of years. Yes. I'm so excited. It's finally yeah. time. Thank you. Check out the new game from Ulf and 10 Chambers. Here we go. This is why GTFO got nothing. Mr. Bowman, your reservation at Manon Aphis is in one. Cancel the reservation. Reset the procedure. Continued neuroprodding may severely damage the suspect. Reset the procedure. Yes, standing by. Eject. <laughs> 
Mr. Bowman. Your subconscious was just spilling the beans about your recent Akajima district break. Let's continue. Huh. What were you hoping to find in the Nexus Sentinels? You mother... There's no use in fighting. I will get what I want. Ah, uh, so that's how you found out about our Akajima fault. What were you looking for? A key. A key to what? What, Mr. Bowman? It's who? You see, just like me, you caught here. You're caught in the den of wolves. <laughs> Like this, so far. Like, like spacey. That was like the theme for every game this whole war show. Even the Michael McConaughey game, future space game. Fortnite. The standard is nowadays, if you want to make a new game, just make sure Fortnite can't do, do it better. If Fortnite can do your game better, then... Come on, man. Extraction inbound. Good to go? Easy in, easy out. That's our ride. What the fuck? Why does that look like that every was other- That was I met with the team at Gamescom to take a look at that upcoming tactical like open world extraction game. shooter. And the project is led by some of the creators of The Division. And besides facing other players and warring factions, vertical gameplay, as you saw in the Forces of Nature, <laughs> unlocked the potential of the players' exo rigs to help master the apocalypse, as they say. Much more is coming in 2024 on Exoborn. Now, please welcome the voice of Loki in Asgard's Wrath 2, one of the most ambitious and anticipated VR games yet, Matt Mercer. What the hell is Asgard's Wrath? What is Asgard's Wrath? Hey there. Uh, <laughs> I am so beyond excited to show you this trailer for our Asgard's Wrath 2. I've been working with the Sanzaru team and bringing Loki to life. It's just been absolutely amazing. And uh, after playing Asgard's Wrath 2 as a lifelong gamer, I'm honestly blown away. So uh, I'm honored to be a part of this franchise and want to thank everyone at Sanzaru Games, at Oculus Studios, and MetaQuest. So without further ado, let's enjoy the trailer for Asgard's Wrath 2. Gods take everything from mortals. Bleed these lands dry. Thy spirits, their rightful passage. Turn worlds to ash. You allowed Loki to deceive you. Now his chaos reigns. <laughs> the universe demands a guardian. And with each possession, <laughs> you will grow stronger. Oh, due to 
beautiful guardian, here to right your wrongs. Look here, in here. Hit his leg here. He's about to hit you, hit his arm. For you guys. Or place you can hide. Your fate is mine. December fifteenth. That's. Oh no. Yeah, I'll play it. I'll figure it out. <laughs> Foolish mortals, oblivious to the chaos that awaits you just outside. I'll see you sooner than you think. <laughs> it's been an amazing year, not just for games, but for adaptations of the games we love. Right now, we have an exclusive look at the highly anticipated new series, Fallout. Oh. Hello there. Now how about we turn on some lights? You know what they say. War never changes. That'd be cool. I don't want to set the world. From Fallout, please welcome Aaron Moten, Ella Purnell, and Walton Goggins. I just want to talk. What's up, y'all? Uh, I hope you don't mind. We brought a little extra security. Thank you for having us, and we are incredibly excited for you all to see Fallout on Prime this April. But our real honor tonight is that we're here to hand out the award for best adaptation. What? What, dude? Oh, he says our bosses are here. But what? <laughs> Oh, yeah, there they are. Oh! Hey. Jonathan, no, Mr. Howard! Good catch, buddy. <laughs> yeah, but we should probably hurry this up. I don't think he can breathe in there. Yeah, how you doing, big man? Okay. All right, <laughs> all right, let's go. Okay, so this year, video games and film and television were bigger and better than ever before. Here are the nominees for Best Adaptation. Best Adaptation. Vampire Messiah will come. I pray for you, Victor Belmont. All I ever wanted to do is be a racer. Your fiance is I watched that. Was that good? My Last of Us was all right. Oh, I got this. No problem. Oh. Twenty years ago, the world fell, but that's where the cars and guns come in. I didn't see that. Oh, wow! Wow! Uh, the best game goes to The Last of Us. Yeah. I mean, it was pretty good. It got, it got some, it got, for me, it got pretty bad towards the end. Like, I, I watched like seven episodes. Once they got to like the town, I'm not gonna say All right. Uh, okay, clock's ticking. Uh, shout out to my partner in crime, Craig Mason, who's watching up in Canada, getting ready for season two. Uh, huge thank out to our Night Dog family. This wouldn't exist without all your incredible hard work. Uh, big thanks to HBO and the support they've given us, and a lot uh, big thanks to our Last of Us community. None of this exists without you. Thank you so much. And, uh, we also want to thank our partners at Sony Pictures. A special shout out to Carter Swan and the whole PlayStation Productions team and everyone at PlayStation. Thanks so much. Thank you.
Why does it look a million times better than like uh, Animal Crossing? Woman game. Someone said. <laughs> people like shit like this. It's not women. People like cozy games. Wait, this is actually sick as fuck. Hold on. Wait a second. This game's sick as fuck. Free? Oh, we've seen that. I love when there's like a Stardew game that has like dungeons and shit. I fucking love that shit. You go back home to your fucking farm, you feel so happy. I love that. I hate when games have you like moving your base all the time. When I was younger, struggling with who I was, what my place was. I took a lot of that anxiety and put it into making games. I mean, it's evolved over time, especially as I've gotten into AAA. Well, guess what, everybody? Ah! Hindsight is a narrative exploration game which spans the life of a woman named Mary is taking a core of something that happened in my life, keeping that and fictionalizing the rest of it. Whenever someone tells me that they've cried from something that I've made, it's always when people cry is where I feel, yes, I wanna keep doing that. I wanna keep making people feel things. Yeah, she's mean. This she's mean. Just makes me stronger. We will not retreat. This band is unstoppable. <laughs> They did it, but no one cares. Are you playing it though? Apparently it's really good. I hope it's actually good as hell. Have food. Bye. Food just does not look good. That right there was No Man's Sky, a game we announced 10 years ago with this guy right here, Sean Murray. Sean, uh, looks like the content keeps rolling in 2024, but what does the next decade look like for Hello Games? Well, to start with, uh, next year is going to be a really big year for No Man's Sky. Like you said, I've been working on it for 10 years now, and I still really love it, still really enjoy it. But what people don't know is that for the last five years, we've been working on something new. What? Uh, Another game? Yeah, something very different, something maybe more ambitious. Um, you know, for... <laughs> Are we gonna fall for that again? Uh, Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us a bit about it, Sean. Uh, well, for No Man's Sky, we generated a whole universe of kind of sparse, alien-looking planets, and that wasn't easy, you know, it was hard, but there is something that's much harder that we wanted to do. Uh, for our new game, we wanted to create an Earth, um, you know, something as varied, a planet that is as varied as a universe, something bigger than Earth, something with, you know, mountains, real mountains, not video game mountains, but mountains that are miles high, taller than Everest, that when you climb to the top of them and look out, you can see rivers and canyons and continents. You know, you can see oceans. So you is this like an open world planet kind of thing? Yeah, I mean, the first real open world, right? Something without boundaries. 
uh, and we're going to let everyone play in it together. It's you know a place where people can live out their sort of yeah. adventures together. There's no well, way it's going to work, uh, buddy. Take a look at it. We we have anything tonight He's or like the future? Or? <laughs> yeah, He's like that so, one guy who so everyone has the best idea, oh, but um, it's like, come on, man. And you know, nah, it's, it's going to work. It's a small team it. that's working on it. I us. believe in There's it. There's about a dozen of us. We're actually everyone's here. The the everyone from the team is here. Uh, we're like everyone's thought of this game before. Uh, How about like a we're big very world excited we to share, share this. You and I have been talking about this one for years. Yeah, we're we're super nervous, you know, but uh, really excited. If you know if people like it, this is a game I would like to still be updating ten years from now. All right, so Game Awards 2033. <laughs> We'll be back, but no, uh, let's take a look. This is such an incredible project and I'm honored that we get to show it off. Should we, should we do it, Sean? Yeah, let's do it. Here we go. Trash. Just kidding. Procedural, there you go. That's what we're looking at. Wait a second. I'm gonna go this way. Dude, why are you putting so close to my face? Dude, you're fucking. I mean, what if they have like the they doubted us energy? You know what I mean? Light no fire. I mean, that looks pretty cool. Remember, that comes from an independent team. Absolutely incredible. I've been waiting for years to show that to you. And uh, again, created by the team at Hello Games. So uh, very, very exciting. And I'm excited to uh, see games like that that show kind of the next decade of where games are going to, and hopefully TGA too. All right. Now join me in welcoming to the stage actor Simu Liu. What's up, everybody? How y'all doing tonight? My God, there's so many of you. You guys all look so, so beautiful. Um, all right, first off, I want to address the elephant in the room. Um, my foot's fine, you guys. I, I did tear my Achilles. Uh, I wasn't riding a dragon. I was playing pickup basketball in Miami. I wish, I wish there were a better story to this, you guys, but the story is this. Um, you know, as you age, as you get older, you know, particularly as you cross the 30 threshold, your body starts to break down, all right? Things start happening, um, unless you're Anthony Mackie, for whom I think the laws of aging don't apply. Um, guys, just, if you're not Anthony Mackie, learn to appreciate the importance of stretching, all right? It's very important. Um, Where's my weed? Keeping it real at the Game Awards, all right? Now, I'm, I'm here to share something that I'm, I'm really, really excited about. I recently got a chance to team up with Frost Giant on their new real-time strategy game, Stormgate. Now, RTS is a genre that I was absolutely obsessed with as a kid. I loved building armies and obliterating my enemies in Age of Empires, Command and Conquer, and of course, my absolute all-time favorite game, Starcraft. Yes! So happy you guys cheered for that. Um, 
Now, if you've been destroyed by carriers and void rays on BNET at any point over the past 10 years, that was definitely your boy. Uh, and that's why I am so excited for Stormgate. Look, it's a noob strat, I understand, all right? But I loved it. Look, that's why I love Stormgate. It was made by a team of ex-StarCraft developers who are just as obsessed with RTS as I am. And in addition to competitive and co-op modes in the game, it's got an ongoing campaign that was written by Frost Giant with a little help from the legendary Chris Metzen. And so, yes, I brought a little bit of gameplay for y'all and the first reveal of a pretty badass new character who uh, I may or may not have gotten to voice. Let's have a look. His birthday says I'm 43. I'm now 43 years old. Guys, do I look 43 years old? Fight, cower. Either way, your world will fall. No, I don't. Where was it? That was me. <laughs> See? Pretty good, right? <laughs> and, uh, and now it's time to hand out the next award. Here okay. are the nominees for Best Action Adventure Game. Best Action Adventure Game. You are the killer. I don't want to be in the story. Just write me out of the story. It's my fault. This is something else. Miles, get it off of him. We can fight this together. Your soul requires cleansing. How could you let the galaxy fall to this unworthy machine of an empire? Do not look away. You witness a king's when did that, revival. When did that game come out? That game, did that game come out? The fucking And Star the game Wars? award goes to, no surprise here, Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Make sure the little, the, the little fucking kid's not here, right? The, the fucking guy right there. Where's that fucking kid? He's not here, right? <laughs> I'm so glad to be able to be here to accept this reward, this award on behalf of everyone who worked together to create this game. Everyone on the development team truly uh, uh, gave their all in, in making this game the best that it could be. プレイヤーの皆さんそれぞれのユニークなゲームプレイが皆さん独自のハイラルの物語となります。プレイヤーの皆さん本当にありがとうございます。Everyone's unique approach to playing this game uh, can become their own personal story uh, as an adventure through the lands of Hyrule. And to all the players, you have my sincere thanks. Thank you so much. Congratulations, Mr. Anuma. And I am happy now to announce winners in a few more categories at the Game Awards. Here are the nominees for Best RPG. Baldur's Gate 3, Final Fantasy 16, Lies of P, Sea of Stars, and Starfield. And the Game Award know, goes guys. to I think Starfield... Baldur's Gate 3. What? Here are the nominees for Best Sim on, Strategy Game. Advanced Wars 1 and 2 Reboot Camp, 
City Skylines 2, Company of Heroes 3, Fire Emblem Engage, and Pikmin 4. And the Game Award goes to Pikmin, Pikmin 4. 4. Oh, shit. Here are the nominees for Best Sports one. Racing Game. EA Sports FC 24, F1 23, Forza, Forza Forza Motorsport, most money. Hot Wheels Unleashed 2, Turbo Charge, and the Crew Motor Fest. And this year, the Game Award goes to Forza Motorsport. Congratulations. Because they the most money. The nominees for Best Multiplayer this year are Baldur's Gate 3, Diablo 4, Party Animals, Street Fighter 6, and Super Imagine. Mario Brothers Wonder. And the Game Award goes to Baldur's, Baldur's Gate, Gate 3. 3. Having a pretty good night. Here are the nominees for our Player's Voice Award, 100% voted by the fans. Baldur's Gate 3, Cyberpunk 2077 Phantom Liberty, Genshin Impact, Marvel's Spider-Man 2, and The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. And the Game Award goes to Baldur's, Baldur's Gate, Gate 3. 3. Congratulations, Larian. Let's take a look now at this spectacular celebration of mobile gaming on Sphere from Google and Samsung. I'm gonna fuck my screen tonight. This is fucking Nicotine addiction can make stress worse. Didn't they just advertise a vape earlier? Didn't they just advertise a vape earlier? Oh no, was it the same ad? You guys said it was a vape. It was anti-vape? Oh. I literally was so high I missed it. Bitch. All right, welcome back to the Game Awards. We still got some awards to hand out. Timothy Chalamet will be here to help, and we have some more world premieres, including this one. That was a new one. He knows I'm watching. He watches me. He's like, 
dude. He's like self-conscious about his intros now. So much he knows, man. He's switching it up now. Damned if I know what to make of it. Oh, I'm sorry. Some sort of crystal. Enlightened souls forged great and terrible weapons called the Iconoclasts, from which icons derive their name, and turned them against each other in the Magitek War. It seems somebody's woken this place up. The question is... Who? What the hell is an Iconoclastic defense system? I have a feeling we're about to find out. And that we will not like the answer. Then we better cut this short. Welcome, my friends, to Mysidia. Experience new adventures before the final battle in Final Fantasy 16 the with Echoes crazy, of the yeah. Fallen, which is out tonight on PlayStation 5. There's a shadow drop for you. Now to present Ooh. our next award, Best Game Direction, please welcome one of our industry's greatest creative forces, the creator of Call of Duty and Global GM for Star Wars Jedi, Battlefield, Titanfall, and Apex Legends, Vince Sampella. Good evening, everyone. So, game design can be chaos. Actually, let me rephrase that. The best game design is almost always part chaos, right? Uh, today, it's really normal for teams of hundreds to work for years on huge open worlds that are condensed into one package. When that chaos has somehow been harnessed into a cohesive artistic expression, that's great game design. So tonight, I'm proud to present the nominees for best game direction. Best Game Direction. How do you run from a story that lives in your head? Together, we must survive. All Miles talks about is how to be a better Spider-Man, how to help you. What a beautiful day! Link, you are our final hope. You must find me. Amazing. And the winner is oh, Alan Wake 2. Yeah, because we're gonna play this game or something, chat. What the fuck is going on? Thank you. Uh, we want to thank Epic, Hector, Nicole for believing in our vision. Uh, crazy vision. <laughs> crazy vision, yes. Direction is nothing without a team to actually build it. And, and huge thanks to Remedy Did he talk team before? for joining us on this venture. You got to talk twice. To believing it and, and, and build it. Uh, you know, we can pull into different directions and, and nothing comes out of it. But when more than 100 people uh, believe in the same vision and, and build something out of it, we can make miracles, we can make art, and we can be more than the sum of our parts. Uh, our world today could use a bit more of that. That's a nice one. Uh, one other thing, uh, next Monday, December 11th, uh, New Game Plus, the final draft is gonna be coming out. <laughs> New story content, uh, so yeah, go play it, thanks. Thank you, thank you Game Awards.
Please welcome Gustav Tillaby, the creative director of the finals. What about the game? When we started building this game, we set a bold vision for ourselves. We said that if we're going to make a shooter, it needs to be unique. It needs to be something that no one else is doing. Standing here today, I'm so proud and grateful for the amazing team at Embark Studios who helped make this crazy dream a reality. And of course, to all of you, our amazing players, watching you play the finals has been the most gratifying experience of my entire career. Tell me out, man, career. please. You're not just a part of this journey. You guide us and you inspire us, and I love you for that. No problem. Now, let's watch our latest trailer and keep your eyes peeled for the launch date at the very end. It might be sooner than you think. Thank you, and enjoy. More soon, Rob. I'm in full map. This trio dominated the rooftops of Monaco and joined Diamond League at Skyland. Yeah. Don't make me you know, I like how loud it is. Play now. That's right. The finals is out tonight on Steam, Xbox Series X and S, and PlayStation 5. After the show, make sure to check out the Game Awards in Fortnite as well. All month, fans have been voting for their favorite user-created island of the year, and the winner is Fort Who. Congratulations. You can portal to the winning island from our TGA map, and while you're there, collect all the TGA trophies for an XP boost, we want to help you unlock those Peter Griffin skins. The island code <laughs> is below. Still to come, the presentation of Game of the Year featuring our, our orchestral salute to the nominees. Yeah, she was funny as shit. I feel, I feel like me and Jeff Gilly would smoke weed and chill. I bet he has a zip back on right now. He zinned the fuck out, dude. I'm parasocial. Now, yeah, it dude. is time for you to join the others. It's called manifestation. One day I'll be smoking weed with Jeff Kill. You, you watch. Best weed of the year. Forcing. Might be like, just wait till you see Baldur's Gate. You'll never want to leave. Game sucked. I'm gonna say it right now, Baldur's Gate. I didn't finish it because it was boring. It was so stupid. Um, I'm kidding. It was amazing. Amazing game. 
Rage bait. I love the rough seal. <laughs> that literally is one of the best games ever made for sure. Why did I finish it? I don't know. I, it's hard for me to, I don't know. All night you've been voting on I'll Twitch for which mobile game you're hyped for in 2024. After the show, check out the TGA Post Show on Twitch, where Google Play will reveal the winner of it. This sounds Play like War Omega War. Copian, but Baldur's Gate could be fine in the future, too. Awesome. Thanks, Sydney. Well, Let now it it's time for tonight's final world premiere. That's right. We're getting towards the end of the show. And this one, I will let speak for itself. Diablo. Same day as GTA 6. Please welcome to the stage Monster Hunter series producer, Ryozo Tujimoto. It's so great to have you here at the Game Awards. We got to hang out in Osaka earlier this fall where you showed me the gameplay. You gave me a demo of the game. And wow, I got to tell you guys, it looks incredible. Everyone wants to know, we saw 2025. Uh, when do we get to play this? はい、え、と予約発表することができました。え、モンスターハンターの新作です。え、こちらですね、え、と9月にゼウスさんにも見ていただきましたタイトルなんですが、え、現状ですね、え、2025年リリースを目指して開発しています。Thank you Jeff. I'm very happy to finally be able to announce this title to everyone. Uh this title back in September, we were happy enough to show it to you as planned for release in 2025. Wow. Uh, I think everyone wants to know when do they get to see more on this? Any sense of when we're going to see more on this game? はい、え、こちらのタイトルの続報はですね、え、2024年の夏頃、え、現状予定しておりますので、え、しばらくちょっとお待ちいただけたと思っております。え、それとですね、え、今年、え、カプコンがですね、40周年を迎えさせていただき
Oh, he's oil. So what's the point? Make some air! Hey bro, chill! I can't even hear what you're doing, bro! Nah, I'm kidding, I'm sorry. You did great. The game of the year! All those will be Baldur's Game! How did Alan Wake win more than Baldur's Gate so far? And the game of the year is... It did it? Oh, okay. Baldur's Gate 3. <laughs> See, he didn't go up the first time because he knew he was going to win game of the year. He's pissed out. Um, so many fingerprints on it. I didn't expect it, it anymore. Um, thank you. Thank you so much. Um, a game like Baldur's Gate 3 isn't possible if you don't have an incredible team working on it. And the team at Larian spent their hearts and souls for six years uh, on this game in sometimes very difficult circumstances. This was our COVID game. Um, along the way, we, we lost quite a few people also, so we want to dedicate this uh, to all the people we lost, and especially uh, to Jim, our lead cinematic uh, artist, uh, who passed away uh, in the uh, last month. Um, I want to thank over 2,000 people, so sit back and relax. Uh, but uh, I also uh, want to thank everybody that supported us throughout this entire uh, effort, uh, our families, our friends, our partners, uh, you were the best, and without you, we couldn't have done it. Thank you very much. Thank you. Sam, W. Nothing more, less, you know, like, uh, how do you say it? Perfect. Congratulations, Fanny. Congratulations to all of tonight's winners. We will see you next year at our 10th anniversary Game Awards, which I'm happy to announce. We'll return right here to the Peacock Something. Theater on Thursday, December 12, 2024. Happy holidays. Good night. Wait, no secret trailer? Elden Ring 2? There's no Elden Ring 2? What the fuck, dude? No matter? Wait, was this live? Was this live? I'm kidding. <laughs> After the whole thing.
Hardcore death comp? <laughs> you believe me? <clears throat> group! 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 Guys, I wanna watch this. Hardcore death compilations. Alright, 40 man rain rocks. Alright. We can do a pull and save. You can also remove yourself if you are actually Five, tanking it. Four, three. Two, one. Hey, wait, I'll watch one clip and I'll get off this video then. I don't. Mm, what the fuck? Can I help? Well, I, I'm picking pick up, up Gar. Pick up, pick up the Are you serious? Tarkov Arena came out? I gotta run all the way to Undercity. Looking for one more DPS for RFK, no tank run. Melee preferred. Vehicular manslaughter. <laughs> He was losing so bad too. What? I just killed this dude. What dude? What? He was talking shit. Why are they getting you know? hit? Just got smacked. Hey, wake up, wake up. Oh shit, the priest, the priest. Oh. No way, bro. Why? Why do you get hit? Like the room, the whole room is hit. No way. The fort buff from the priest was enough health to save him. What? That was crazy. Oh, these whelps. This guy fell and then he typed. This guy fell and then he typed on my way. <laughs> oh, 
On my way! You are so dumb, man. Oh, what are you doing? Oğlum çocuk okay. dinlemiyor ki. Herkesin sesi o kadar boğuk ki anlaşılmıyor bir tek yani Ersoy 2 kesin olarak Ersoy diyorsun işte ya. Sıra falla gidiyorum. <gülüyor> Öldüm. <gülüyor> oh, <lan. gülüyor> Why? He's watching Seer. Wow, reserved loot streamer. Oh shit. That's wow, not good. Really... Oh shit. Oh, okay. Oh. There's like three streams on here. Quinn, Seer. He has. He's double gooning. He's stream gooning. This guy is stream gooning so hard right now. I've done that. I do, I do that too. Sometimes I have three streams on. Come on. No way, I'm dead. Oh my god. Okay. So yes, I guess so. Oh my god. Run. <laughs> Please. Watch the healer. He's healing. Oh god. Holy shit. Holy shit. Oh my god, please no. That's not fair. That's so not fair. Oh my god, that's so tragic. Bruh. This video is sponsored by Life Spirits. Hello. What is that? Life Spirits are companions for your live streams and can engage with your audience. What's really cool about this is Life Spirits responds to events like follows, subs, donations, and more. So it will really bring your streams to life. That's cute. Pop Rec, Big Hills and Jungle. Promo code 10% off. That's cute. Janja pop rec. All warriors pop rec. Big heels and Janja. Big if it's heels an NFT, Janja. fuck you. Put down tremor. Yasin, move to tank spot, bro. Use to tank spot, Yasin. Tank spot, Yasin. Where I was standing. Tank spot. Turn around. Donkey. Turn around. Turn around. Tank spot. Fucking donkey. Deserve to die. Janja, move her. Move it to tank spot, guys. I'm going back. Big heels and Janja. The catching and eating no, of sea don't. snakes is a very old tradition on the island of Kudaka. You don't click where that the thing. Sea provides more than the land of the rarest species on earth. Oh my. This insect eating prehistoric mammal has walked planet Earth for 80 million years. In Mandarin, pangolin means the animal that can dig through the mountain. <laughs> what the fuck did this happen? Is this dude all tabbed? <laughs> How the fuck did this happen? <laughs> this is my yeah. outlook on it. Is that this mount means nothing. <laughs> oh 
<laughs> Holy shit. Oh my god. Blood. <laughs> All right. Holy fuck. Okay. So uh. don't learn it. McConnell, we have to respect. <laughs> okay, here we go. Let me know if you guys see me, because that would be great. Otherwise, I'm going to have to... Yeah, I will tell you if we see you. Okay, where's the east? You can see it's on the edge of the left. It's to your left side. So uh, am I looking at it right now? Yeah, that way. Go over that way and blink off the edge. You might need a help. Need a help. Are you there yet? I don't have, I don't have, I don't have a uh, blink. Oh, I do, I do. Okay. All right, I jump. I can't. All right, blink is up. Blink is up. Yeah, you're good. You're good. You're oh super god. good. You're out of aggro. You're completely safe. Oh my god. Good job, Mary. You did great. Yeah. You did great. You're living. When you run back from the bomb, if you're a melee, don't run over here. Always, um, yeah, like always run over here. Yeah, bomb spot is the triangle. Buzz is coming, pulling in 10 seconds. Uh oh. Let me position the bus. There we go. Inferno, move away. Asano, you have the bomb. Asano, you have Asano. the bomb. Move to the triangle. Move to the triangle. Move to the triangle, Asano. You Are you fucking, fucking shitting me? Leave the raid, leave the raid on Petri. Petri and leave. Jesus fucking Christ. You gotta be kidding me. They put crack on my chicken. <laughs> I'm so tired. I don't know. I'm thinking I'm hired, high, tired, hungry at the same time. BFD, I'm already locked out. I'm not playing well. I was supposed to play Fortnite. This game, it's so bad, dude. Holy fuck. What's the player count today? What's the player count right now? 11,000. Bro. 40. Dude. No way. Dude, that's just the people trying it now. There's no way. That drops so fast. So yeah, tomorrow I'm going to guess... Um, so yeah, tomorrow I'm going to guess... Bad. Day before. Like, I... I I see someone in the open and I literally mag dump them and then they don't seem to notice and I'm like what the fuck and then as I turn to run into cover I hear them go ooh ah ah ooh 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 that's when my bullets hit and I'm like what? Well that's the game it Doesn't work I'm jumping out the fucking window Man Wait what level is she now? 32? We may be armed. It's carjacking suspect in the vehicle, so. I play uh, a bit of. Path of Exile. That's right. That's right. It's a new league. I'm going to play a little bit of that. Get into it. It's a new league. Oh yeah, I want to try PUBG too. Actually, I want to give you a long stream today, guys, but I'm gonna eat and keep going.
Or just eat, lay down. Or just lay down and sleep and see it go again tomorrow. What do I do? I'll just go eat. I'll just try eat or come back, you know, back on streaming tomorrow, okay, guys? Fortnite? We'll play Fortnite, PUBG, some random shit. Okay, guys? Some random shit. Love you guys. Thanks for being here today. Let me unmute and resub some. Uh, boom, boom, boom. I'll be playing No Pixel soon or whenever it is. Comes out. The trailer's not out yet, right? <clears throat> Lean the, the Dragon. Thank you, Dewey. Thank you, OX4. We dare. Yeah, I'll watch it tomorrow. An Acorn. Cockatiss, I see you, homie. Thank you. Mr. Garbanzo. Thank you, Crux Mode, Mr. Man. Moon Kamui. Thank you, everybody. I'll see you next time. John in Tennessee, go ahead. What you want to say? That shit is fucking trash, dog. Get the fuck off the airwaves. Oh. Oh. Oh.